Hello and welcome to the show. I am here on GTA 5 taking a look at some more mods. So recently a map creator has come out so you can create all sorts of crazy things in the single player. Kind of a little bit like the content creator you get for the multiplayer of the game. However, it's, uh, you can put down a lot more props, you can do a lot more with them uh, and so on and so forth. I've seen all sorts of various interesting sort of creations. My favourite though, my favourite by far that I've seen is this an indoor go-kart track. Admittedly, from the outside, it doesn't look like much. I mean, you've already got so much stuff to work with. It's kind of some barges on top of uh, some containers uh, at the docks, but it really does do the uh, the job. One thing, while I've got this monster panto, we, we've, got to, we've got to try it. There's a big flat surface. We've got to go do a backflip off of it. Hey! <laughs> oh, we've <laughs> nearly got over again. I don't know what it is. I've, I've done many a backflip with this thing. It's still incredibly entertaining to try and get... Oh, I can't quite get the... Uh, I have managed to do a double backflip once and I can never quite figure out how to get it to do it again. I think I might need a little bit more... Ooh, that's a big wheelie on the uh, on the landing there. Maybe we go with just a little bit more speed. Uh, maybe that'll be... Uh, maybe that'll do the trick. No. <laughs> We're just going to settle for a dollar. Um... Right, we shall go inside though. As uh, yeah, from the outside, as I said, not the most not the most impressive, but you know, working with with what you've got inside though, it really does look the business. Occasionally, there's the odd little glitchy texture here and there. Apparently, if it rains, the ceiling does leak slightly, but. Uh... <laughs> I haven't seen it rain yet, so I don't know about that. Um, there are kind of there are people around. Look, you've got like the little check-in desk. Hello, dude, up there. There's a whiteboard with obviously people's schedules that we can't quite read. Um, <laughs> there's a, a massive, great big TV that's not turned on and so on. Oh, the computers are all plugged in and stuff. It's really cool. Just like the, the attention to detail in this area is really, really neat. We've got some sort of more tables over here and some spectators standing down that way. We've got like a little podium area up here with a go kart parked in it. Uh, we've got a little engine, an engine crane uh, up here. And then we come to the the grid. Ignore the motorbikes for now. There's something I added in uh, <laughs> separately. Um, but uh, we do also have go karts. We're racing at a go kart track, so we may as well uh, we, we might as well be uh, using these things. These are another uh, a separate mod. Uh, so we're going to go for a little drive. I'm thinking perhaps first person. Perhaps first person is going to be a good idea for uh, <laughs> for this uh, for this sort of area. I've already bumped into a thing instantly. Oh dear God, this. Ah, oh, it's quite narrow. Okay, I will be honest. It is, it is quite narrow and surprisingly scary. Driving in first, ooh, driving in first person. I didn't quite expect it to be this tricky uh, <laughs> around here. It's a re I like this this circuit. It is a shame that these kind of things can't be used online. This would make for an amazing racing. Uh, oh, good God, around here. The the go-kart track itself comes with a custom handling file. The go-kart that I'm using replaces the June... Uh, the June buggy, uh, if I remember correctly, and this go-kart track comes with a custom handling file for the June buggy, so that the go -kart, this handles more go-kart-esque. You can see there's huge amounts of grip in this thing as we try and weave it through. Unfortunately, when I go to first person, the speedo doesn't stay on. That's a little disappointing, but never mind. Ooh. <laughs> there's lots of grip. And, I mean, okay, it's... Um, <laughs> it, it, drives, it drives pretty well for, for a go-kart. I mean, I'm not quite sure how... Uh, <laughs> How how close, how accurate, and so on. But uh, ooh, I, I've overcooked it. Ooh, the collisions are sometimes a little bit interesting uh, <laughs> with this go car. It's it's certainly good good fun to drive around. We've got a slightly floaty front bumper now in uh, in that one. We carried carried a lot too much speed. I mean, we're getting decent speed around here. I'm taking all manner of terrible terrible lines. Uh, 45 miles an hour ish is the fastest we're going to uh, to get. Yeah. Uh, uh, um. Prius, what are you doing? You're not supposed to be here. Where, what, Pri? Where, where are you going? You've crashed it. Um, guys, there's a small issue. There's a, uh, um, there's a Prius on the track. <laughs> um, I, I, I don't think that's supposed to, to, to be happening. Why is there a Prius on my racetrack? Excuse me. Where are you going? Um, well, we've now got a, we've got a, mo a movable chicane, quite literally, a very movable chicane. Um, okay, so <laughs> I tested this and that has never happened before. Um, 
<laughs> well, we're gonna let's see if we can get some. Oh, like you're you are just millimeters away from from the walls, from the barriers, from the curbs. Move a ball to Kane. Where are we gonna go? All right, there's a gap there. We found a gap. We found a gap. Uh, yeah, to get to get sort of quick lap times. If you if you were to try and sort of time trial around here, well, you gotta be millimeters away from the rules because well, it is a very a very narrow thing. A, a couple of places it is incredibly narrow, maybe even a little too narrow. But these indoor cart tracks can be pretty damn tight. Uh, there's a gap there again. The uh, the Prius is being a nuisance. Oh, I've broken it all. Oh, we've got a wiggly. I've got to take my go kart back to the mechanic. Mechanic, fix the go kart. It's it's wiggling. The front. Actually, tell you what, we'll go and park this one off up here, and we will take the other one that hasn't got a wiggly front bumper. Uh, I'm loving these vehicle mods that are coming for GTA. There's just so many of them are coming out now that it's uh, now that it's able to. All uh, right, we will take the white go kart. I may have to go and deal with the Prius as. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, as as unfortunate as that is, um, are we? Oh, have they got out of the car? Oh no, that's just the other random. What has happened to the people? Have they just abandoned the? For God's sake, you've just abandoned your car on my racetrack. What is going on? Ooh! Excuse me, that was my face that you just ran over. Uh, <laughs> the collisions are a little, as I said, a little wonky on the uh, on the go kart, especially for going underneath. Um, kind of what the, they killed his passenger dear god you are a terrible terrible driver uh, the collisions on the go-kart can at times be a little uh, a little wonky like you can drive under trucks very easily oh now you want to go and deal with your prius do you oh for heaven's sake i was just ah uh, okay wait grenade launcher yeah i'd run away now if i were you go on run away uh, <laughs> i just wanted to drive a go-kart track why is there a Prius? Uh, can we? We've got to kind of nudge this. I should probably use the broken go kart. Uh, never mind. There we go. We got the Prius off. Now we're gonna have to go and take that to the mechanic. Um, well, I mean, you've you've gained a car. It's a little smashed up. I will be honest, but uh, people of the go kart track, you have gained a Prius. Okay, I stopped. They're not the greatest vehicle to gain, but I mean, it might be worth a few pennies at least. Uh, are you coming back? Uh, oh, get off the race track, you pillock, or I will run you down with your own Prius. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> right, can we fit the Prius down there? This, this, as you can see, not really designed for normal cars. Get that, There's a gap there, just about. Right, Prius can stay up there with a dead body. Somebody may want to call the police, uh, or, or not. I mean, it can it can stay there perfectly fine. Right, we will take the grey co cart. Now, the reason why we've got multiples of stuff is I was curious to see how um, Finn's AI would do if we stick it in a go kart or in the on the on the mini motorbikes. That's what we're going to go and uh, try, see if we can get him around. I suspect if I try going quickly, we will probably have issues with him bumping into stuff, but we may be able to get him around here at, uh, at relative speed. And we have now the, uh, the added uh, obstacle of uh, a guy running around. Right, so if we put Finn's AI into this grey go-kart, we're going to climb in the one behind it. Uh, oh, there we go. Get in, Michael. Okay, now... Are we going to... I did have a little bit of problem getting... Finn didn't really like being in the go-karts. Oh, there we go. All right, he's activated. Yeah, the, the first time I tried to get him in one of these, he did not want to follow properly. No, 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 no. Finn. Finn. We've got to go this way. You can't just try and take that. This may be a little too narrow for the, uh, for the companion car. Finn, over here. Finn. Oh, there's another one. Oh, no, the stratum's out. That's fine. The stratum, the stratum's gone out. Uh, maybe we'll have to place maneuver Finn a little bit. Finn, uh, there's still random guy. <laughs> get away, Finn. Let's get you out of here. Right. If we park you pointing that way. Oh, you've just tripped up the random guy. I had nothing to do with that at all. Um. The, oh no. Now he's trying to fight me. After all of this silliness has gone on. Go on, Finn. Finish him off. Finish him off. And go on. No. 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 Thank you, Finn. You were really useful. Uh, has that actually finished him off? Oh, no. He's still going. Right. Um, Finn, can we take the final corner? No. Uh, oh, the companion AI has done really well with a lot of the challenges. With Oh, there's a flying go-kart. Finn, that's not really the way you're supposed to be going. Yeah, it has done pretty well on the most part at following. However, I fear that this may be asking a little bit too much of it. Come on. Can we get around these corners? Uh, the thing is, he's kind of trying to hold back too much. You need to be a lot closer, dude. Fear? I don't think. I don't think he's going to be able to drive a go kart. Um, this way. This way. You're not even making an effort, really. There, are we? At all? Just you're not even bothering. Fine, I'm going to go for another couple more laps, as I as I do quite like the circuit. Maybe it'll figure out what's going on. I have a sneaking suspicion he won't. Oh, he's back to running around the place again. Uh, how many times has he been hit by go karts? At least twice he's been hit by go karts. Uh, <laughs> And he hasn't thought to climb the tire bundles. Where is the uh, the pesky Finn? Oh, there he is. He's doing a backflip with a... 
<laughs> He's doing a backflip with a go-kart. Don't mind him. Um, yeah. <laughs> Anything the Monster Panto can do, Finn can do better in whatever vehicle we give him, basically. Uh, I think Finn wants out. I don't think he really quite likes that. Oh, yep, he's off again. Ah, I've nearly rolled a go-kart at an indoor track. No, you're making it. What are you doing? You are Spider-Kart. <laughs> we, um, I think we may have made a monster uh, out, out, of, out of that thing. Yeah, I'm not giving him a go-kart. Um, I'm not sure if he's having problems with the, the go-kart himself. When I did try it earlier, um, as I said, I did have some issues with Finn and a go-kart. He just he didn't really know what to do with it and crashed into pretty much everything. I was hoping it was going to calm down, but no, I think he is just not really capable of... Whoa! Whoa, you've got some strangeness going on there with the... Uh, Okay, maybe, maybe we should put Finn away now, or, or put his AI into something less danger- Um, now we're just mating go-karts. Uh, <laughs> hmm, okay, let's leave the go-karts for now. Let's go have a look at these little uh, mini motorbikes. These things are very, very cool. Um, both of them from uh, from separate mods. Uh, again, I'll, I'll link everything that I've used here in the description. Now, I've never put Finn on a motorbike. I have no idea how on earth he is going to react to being put on the... Uh, oh, nope, don't go on that one. I'm going on the, the blue bike here, the 43. Right, Finn can have the 79. We will turn Finn on. I don't... <laughs> I have no bloody clue how he's going to react to being on a bike. Okay, Finn? Are we going... Are we, are we coming? Hey, Finn is on his way. Okay, now can we get around a couple of corners here? I know this is really tight. You see... Oh... Well, I mean, it kind of works because he can just go over the barriers if he gets stuck. Um, yeah, I don't know what it is. Oh, look at look at him go. He is climbing the barriers like a champ. Unfortunately, he's, he's, he will get some corner-cutting penalties, I, I suspect. Oh, no. <laughs> From that, I've lost track of him again. No, I don't think I don't think the companion cars really like being enclosed in this tight of a circuit. It's kind of understandable, let's face it. Uh, they did a fantastic job of keeping up with some of the, the, the driving stuff I've done, but in here, you're just asking too much of them. And there's just so much scenery to bounce off of and get confused. I'm going to lap Finn! I've lapped it! He's terrible. He's an absolutely terrible racer. Uh, <laughs> around here. But these things are, again, it's just quite good fun. Little little vehicles to, to hot lap around here. There's miles of grip in them. We can be flat out through that section. Finn is determined. He's trying to escape. I just don't think he, he doesn't doesn't like it in here. Uh, shall we go first person mode again? Oh, I bumped into everything while contemplating. Oh, dear God, the, <laughs> the wobble and the movement. Oh, break around the corner. It's just, everything goes past so far. It feels like you're going a million miles an hour in here. It's uh, <laughs> We're probably doing 30. It feels ridiculously... Fast. Oh, we made that turn. I don't know where the walls are. Just guess and hope and Finn's playing in the sort of infield area. And around the corner some more. This is... <laughs> I like this. Oh, we bumped a wall. In first person, this is quite cool. A lot of it is just turning and hope that you have grip. And there is quite a lot of grip in these... Uh, oh, in these dirt bikes. I apologise to anybody who gets motion sickness. Uh, <laughs> Because watching these, yeah, I, it's uh, quite... Oh God, you change direction so unbelievably fast and because you're so enclosed. Uh, it does feel uh, ludicrous fast and bumped off the wall. It's all good. Uh, right, we'll go have a look at the other... Oh, uh, dear God. Uh, <laughs> that is quite difficult to drive for any length of time on that one. Finn's now mounting the lighting. That's... Uh, <laughs> is that how Tron bikes are made? When you have a normal bike and you mount the lightings? Maybe. Maybe that's how they are. Finn can, oh, he can stay over there, buggerish. Uh, these little things are incredibly fast. <laughs> They're the uh, the batty racing bikes. That uh, uh, there is a, again a custom handling file for these, for the uh, for the mini motorbikes. But it's still, ooh, we bumped off a wall. Still very very fast. We could expect speeds of up to about 70 miles an hour uh, out of these things in very relatively small space. How quick are we get? Can we get it up to 70 in here? Whoa, Finn's off. Finn may have taken out someone's face. I don't really know. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> just flying bike. I don't really like that corner, it seems. We're getting a lot of air time. I'm not really sure that that's what's supposed to happen with the mini motorbikes. Do, they, do mini motorbikes bounce up in the air like that? I suspect you fall off them before they bounce up in the air like that. We have lost a dirt. Oh, no. he's Oh, he's got himself well and truly stuck behind the... Uh, that's probably the safest place for him to be, really. Oh, good God. Just trying to keep this... Oh, for God's that's three laps in a row. I will keep going until we get that lap through there cleanly without getting ourselves stuck. Uh, or bouncing off the wall. Yeah, I can just see the little arrow poking up over there. Uh, we get about 50 miles an hour. <laughs> 50 miles an hour indoors on a mini motorbike. All right, okay. Look at that. We did it. We did it successfully. I don't even know what speed that was. It was quite a lot. Oh, yeah. It's uh, not quite as maneuverable as the dirt bike, this one, but a hell of a lot quicker. Oh, almost almost getting 60 out of it through there. Shall we go first person? Uh, 
<laughs> at this sort of speed, it's going to be very, very hard to uh, keep the thing under control. Yeah, I mean, first person is cool and everything, but I would definitely recommend third person for whizzing around here at ludicrous speeds. Uh, all right, so we're going to take a wide line through here and then put the power down again. Oh, there's some wheel spin. I've bumped a wall. Uh, <laughs> don't lie. First person is too difficult to drive this one in. Um, but there we go. Indoor go-kart track is, is incredible. I really, really like this uh, this little area. Okay, you know, at the, the moment there's not much. He's just sort of hot lapping uh, around here by yourself. Finn is, is stuck. I think we've, we've lost him. We've captured a Prius uh, and <laughs> a dead body. Hey, look at that. There's some Tras biking stunts going on there from uh, <laughs> from Finn. But yeah, this is really, it's very, very cool. I highly recommend you give it a download. Drive around drive around it yourself, whether it be with a go-kart, whether it be with some mini motorbikes, or hell, if you want to try and squeeze a proper car. Shall we go quickly drive the Prius around? Sure. We'll finish up. We will finish up by trying to lap the circuit in a Prius. Sorry, sorry, mini motorbike. You could go over there. Lap, lap, lap in the Prius with a dead body inside of it. We're missing a bumper and so on. Okay, Prius, how do you do around? I'm going to hazard a guess it's going to struggle to uh, to get around this. Oh, get around this course. Yeah, funnily enough. <laughs> <laughs> Finn is now desperately trying to escape the Prius, and I don't really blame you. Uh, it's uh, yeah, he's he's literally just running in the opposite direction to uh, oh, the way that this thing is going. Yeah, as you can imagine, quite difficult to get a car around here. Lots of use of the handbrake, otherwise you're simply not going to turn. Basically, uh, and around the bottom here, we're going to oh, go karts in the way. Go kart, get out! Oh, for God's sake, collisions. As I said, slightly. Oh, don't tell me we've got this wedge now on the go kart. Oh, come on, find some grip. Find some grip, you terrible car. Uh, <laughs> that go-kart upside down is going to be a little bit of a pain, I suspect, for ooh, driving cars around here. And again, well, uh, it can be done, certainly, with cars around here. It's just uh, quite a lot more difficult, and I've carried far too much speed. Uh, <laughs> not quite got the hang of it. Yeah, really very, very cool mod, this one. I highly recommend, highly recommend you give it a go. It's a go-kart track. What more could you possibly want for, uh, for messing around? With uh, with some various vehicles, just don't expect to take Finn around with you. He gets very confused in this uh, in this confined space. Anyway, that is it uh, for this video, guys. I've hit the same wall every single bloody time through there in the uh, in the Prius. Um, yeah, thank you very much for watching, and until next time, uh, goodbye.